Good morning everyone. So today is going to be our first class for BSA program. This class will be more of introduction. Right now, uh, first things first, obviously uh, we might have gone through the design and the structure of the program, right? Uh, the how the categorization of essays have been done and obviously why uh, there's a need to divide deep this particular course into certain kind of you know, domains or categories to give you a better feel, to give you a more insight into the, <coughs> uh, the specific topics, the specific issues of, uh, of which uh, uh, particularly or typically the UPSC paper comprises. So essay paper you know is, is quite broad based. Essay uh, basically does not test your uh, information, does not test your basically your knowledge or your facts per se, but essay is more concerned with your, you know, the overall personality, the overall understanding of what exactly you think and how you are able to, or how you are able to put that into certain words, right. So essay is basically an effort on to write something on a particular topic. <clears throat> now when we uh, want to understand this, uh, let us say you get a question on uh, women empowerment or women development in your GS paper and you get an essay on women development or women empowerment here, right. Uh, so it becomes very typical or very, you know, confusing that, okay, what, when we are writing 200 words of an answer, right, is the same content we are going to elaborate in 1500 or 1200 or 15, uh, sorry, 2000 words or whatever we are writing an essay, let's say typically 1000 to 1200 words, right. So are we going to expand the same answer? The ideas will remain the same, the contours more or less will be you know, fitted into that. So, uh, these are the, you know, the questions, the confusions that are created, right? How to start an essay if I'm writing about, let's say, for example, the same thing, the women empowerment, right? Or any other topic, let's say health, technologies, environment, whatever. So, are we going to define that particular topic which is given? Right? Let's say if uh, the, the statement is something like that, uh, that the environmentalism or the global environmentalism is a product of global politics, let's say, for example, a statement, right? Which is a big critique by the so-called pro-environmentalists of the all the measures taken internationally by the global institutions. So let us say a statement comes here. Now, are we going to define the global environment or the politics behind the global environment? Are we going to elaborate the statement itself? Okay, so these are certain key aspects which we keep wondering about that what exactly should be the essay, right? <coughs> and uh, uh, moreover, the, the language of the essay, again, is very pertinent aspect. Should the language be flowery language? Should the language be, uh, you know, a dictionary language? Should the language be a poetic language? Should be a literary language? Whether the language has an important role in essay or not? So, we'll try to answer these many questions here, right? And uh, then how to, you know, develop a structure of the essay? What is an ideal structure of an essay? Uh, is there, in fact, an ideal structure of the essay or not? So there are a lot of questions which keep pondering our minds, you know, affecting us in terms of uh, understanding every day that what exactly could be the improvement that we should have in essay. Right? Typically, an average score in the essay uh, somewhere ranges between, uh, let's say, 90 to 135, 140. In fact, 150 can also be achieved quite easily. 70% marks can be acquired in essay. That is very um, Typical of those people who have been writing obviously since long time. But then don't misinterpret me. It's not about writing an article, it's not about writing an editorial. That is not what you're going to do there. And, and moreover, it is said that essay is evaluated by journalists. Uh, many GS areas are also evaluated by journalists, the civil servants, the bureaucrats, the senior people. Uh, so essay does not specifically uh, talk about the fixing. Uh, the marks according to the domain competency of a particular because that has of a particular student because that has already been tested in your general studies, right? So um, uh, these are certain problems and issues, right? Then uh, what should be the mood of essay? Should it be optimistic? Can it be pessimistic? Can it be more descriptive and analytical, right? Can it be more critical in nature? Okay, do we need to bring criticisms or not? Should there be a definite conclusion or not, or the conclusion should be left you know, open-ended, 
so uh, there are obviously these are these sort of questions which you know, keep bothering many aspirants and students so we are basically going to understand all these things okay in a gradual manner so today's class would be more on that so what is a good essay fine now imagine that uh, you go and visit a hill station right and when you come back somebody asks you to tell you to spend down a memoir for the the vacation that you had a uh, beautiful vacation that you have just experienced can you pen down a memoir so that can you pen down a description of that right so what will you do will you start with okay i started traveling then i hired a car or i took a bus or took a plane and then i went there and this and this now see until and unless this entire process fits into or somewhere amplifies your experience of the vacation and it may not be useful to so try to understand the logic is that yes when we are writing an essay when we think of a particular topic when you have to pen down a memoir that you have uh, experienced right now the experience or the focus of that particular aspect that is being asked that focus is more important to be kept all the time this is a very important aspect of us when we talk about the continuity of the essay when we talk about the core issue in the essay so if i am talking about my vacation and the experience of my vacation then i would try to be as much as closer to the description of or the analysis or the interpretation of what that vacation was rather than talking about myself rather than talking about my journey my transport my communication okay rather than talking about you know uh, my personal um, ambitions vision and what you want to say so this is very typical of essay that in essay we may explore everything we may talk about mountain right we may talk about trees we may talk about roads we may talk about hotel we may talk about the accommodation we may talk about our journey but then it must have relevance to that vacation this was a very simple way i wanted to make you understand that how the core issue of the essay how the core domain of the essay never gets diluted any amount of information you want to share across uh, the spectrum of your entire essay fine that is fine that is acceptable but that must not in any way deviate from the core issue of the essay so this is one pick up line that you must keep it with yourself that the core issue must remain the same right so uh, let us you know talk about these things now in detail okay and uh, there are certain certain questions right you know we'll talk about this uh, let's say um, just introducing the program introduction this is the program right um this will be our class one that is a basic introduction right so uh let us say uh that what exactly is a good s fine so now this is a kind of good being an adjective uh it will have certain parameters right but rather than that let us say what is an essay fine so essay is what an attempt to write an attempt to write on a particular given topic now when we are attempting to write on a topic fine the topic can be finished or described in five minutes so what does this actually mean that this topic is a very important point can you understand it people teach you a thick uh, essay uh, but they make you mug essays can you mug up essays if you mug up essays the whole point the whole agenda of upsc gets to get of giving you an essay an essay is more free flowing it is more spontaneous it is more creative fine it is more a reflection of you and how you interpret this world yeah no doubt there are certain facts which you cannot interpret which will be more or less be the same but then 
come to the aspect the topic <coughs> so what to write on this topic how to first of all when we say essay so first of all let us we have to understand the topic what does this topic mean fine this topic itself may have varied dimensions varied categories right when we say social hai political hai no that is fine okay these are the broad sectors in which the topics are asked but what is the nature of the topic itself is it raising a question fine is the topic imperative right is the topic didactic अब डायरेक्टिव का क्या मतलब है हम सब बात करिए डोंट वरी राइट सी सेट की तैयारी फ्री है इसके अंदर आपकी राइट सो इंपरेटिव भाई एक यू नो एक एक क्वेश्चन है एक क्वेश्चन रेज हुआ फाइन वी रेज अ क्वेश्चन एंड प्रॉब्ली वी आर लुकिंग एट वेदर व्हाट एवर द टॉपिक ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट वी हैव गिवन फाइन कैन इट बी एक्सेप्टेड शुड इट बी एक्सेप्टेड और व्हाट इट इज Right now, that's an imperative statement. More or less, fine. A kind of uh, an approach towards raising a question regarding certain things. Do we have enough health infrastructure to deal with COVID? Right. Alas, okay. Now, so there can be another way of saying it, but let us simplify it first. So, imperative things. Are more or less in the form of questioning things, accepting at the same time questioning, right? Now this is the tone, the mood of the essay. We have talked about this. We have given the structure in our program. So let us say this is the mood. अब ये political, social, economic और political, social, economic में तो बहुत सारे topics हो सकते हैं. तो आप रटोगे क्या? Can you mother all of them? Right? Will you keep finding every day reading newspaper? Yes, you can interpret. We'll talk about the sources from where the essays can come, right? So let us say it is imperative, right? And something is imperative, right? Needed, necessary, but still questionable. Right? Now, didactic is something okay that is more. Uh, you can say it is more about it is pedagogic in nature. It is something which is instructing you, something which is teaching you. Something which is you know, giving you a specific kind of direction, didactic. Right. So this can also be one tone right? that it is it is the karma and not the dharma which defines the scope of life. That's a philosophical essay. Let's say, but it is somewhere. Giving you, it is instructive in nature. It is giving you a direction. Are you understanding this one? So let us say, didactic is more about, okay, maybe more academic, maybe more instructive, right? Then it can be exclamatory. Alas, all the women development programs have failed to revive the women themselves, or all the women development programs have failed to include the most vital aspect, the women itself. Now, see, the tone somewhere is exclamatory. The tone somewhere is also pessimistic. right no it can also be okay critical right it can also be critical critical in the sense that when we are trying to uh, understand the basic the nucleus of something but at the same time we do not have much belief in that particular idea for example let us say Or we do not actually accept the idea as such. So when we are talking about, let us say, okay, 
so most of the policies or the policy paralysis in india is a consequence of the ineffective politics and corrupt administration now the tone is critical tone is not saying you analyze whether you accept it or not it is saying that yes it is so it is like that right so the tone may be critical <coughs> critical but it is not pessimistic it is critical in the sense that it wants a rational evaluation of what is this but yes it accepts that there has been a flaw there is some flaw here right let us see so this will be a critical so we may have critical imperative exclamatory now we are pessimistic we can name call this didactic right? it can at the same time be more optimistic <clears throat> the financial inclusion was uh, a dream before the jantham came into being, right? Or the financial inclusion in India is uh, has been, okay, uh, you can say, uh, transformed in terms of the impact of the jantham yoga. Narega, okay, has been a victim of. the politics or political capture elite capture now these are civil society the transformation of civil society okay has uh, influenced the democratization of society right now there can be various aspects okay in which an essay can be asked now is it important for us to know each and every move each and every aspect then how we are going to do it is yes it is because as say obviously is more a impersonal okay personalized handwriting or writing or you can say the presentation when i say handwriting here would mean that it is you who is writing i'm not talking about the handwriting how it looks i'm talking about it something handwritten by you so it is impersonal personal impersonal means your personal aspects are very relevant but they must not be presented in that sense people have doubts that it should be written in first person obviously not you are not writing a personal experience it can be written in third person yes a neutral person yes right so uh, now these can be various moods in which the essay can be asked the statement can be asked so you see what is an essay so essay can be An attempt, point, a, a challenge posed against the person, the aspirant who is preparing for UPSC. Let us focus focus on UPSC, okay? Or who is being challenged to write certain things on a particular topic which has some inherent roots. Now the broader classification would be sectoral, so politics, science and technology, environment, whatever you talk about. There are broader domain categorizations. These are not the categorizations of the the the, the, the inherent moods of the topic. So that is very important aspect, right? So uh, it can be this, 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 this. So an essay can be an attempt to write on a particular topic, right? Which has these particular Why? I think it is clear to you, right? Now, <clears throat> so what is an essay? Now, let us understand this. So, essay, a ये वाइट सब है, जो आपको लिखना है, that you have to write. Okay. So, now let us say what are the strengths? We can go for the strengths and weaknesses. or opportunities and threats of the essay right so let me make a simple pie chart more easy to remember more easy to understand right so let us say ye mere strengths ab ek acche essay ke strengths kya hote hain so what are the strengths of a good essay 
and how can we even though people two people have written the similar content but then how can we dissociate one from the other how can we dissociate the good okay from not so good or the best from some average let us see how do we dissociate it now let us see so ek strength kya hogi actually the biggest strength the essay will have is the lucidity the ease with which you are connecting the main topic with various sub topics or main issues with various sub issues where there does not seem to be a break between them let us say a simple example okay let us say a question comes that uh, this exercise we will be doing before every discussion that we do because every discussion we have if you see the structure we have designed Uh, probably it is one of the most rational structures of the LSE program. Uh, specific topics, then the top of topics divided into subtopics and the domain. So that is how the question will be asked, right? And so it gives us ample amount of you know, opportunity to discuss the various moods and the various you know domains of a particular topic also while discussing the LSE. So let us say lucidity. So let's take an example that you uh, want to talk about um, the Panchayati Raj Institute. Many of you might be familiar with Panchayati Raj Institution. Now, let's say the topic says that the local governance uh, in India has failed to revive the active interest of the participants, okay. or it has lost its vigor in terms of the participation of stakeholders. Okay. So, the statement can be in many ways. Meaning is more or less similar. Right. So, finding the crux. The mood and the crux of the essay is also very important. The same crux, the same um, conclusion can be drawn from variety of statements. Right. But yes, the statement and the mood and the tone of the statement will depict what will be the breadth, length, and scope of the writing the essay or the content of the essay. Fine. So let us say <clears throat> you are talking about local governance. Now, focus is that local governance has failed to revive the inclusion or participation of stakeholders. Right. So, how do you start this essay now? Now, what can be strong points of a good essay in this particular topic? So, first thing is lucidity. What is lucidity? Now, let us say you start your essay with uh, with what we call we'll talk about structure, the introduction. Okay, what is an introduction? If someone says, okay, like we have given a test for the admission, okay, many students have written, but most of them have not written well and that is why we gave the test the basic utility of that is that you must have written it and uh, you will definitely know what are your strengths and weaknesses and it will help us know better okay how we can improve or ingrate certain things in you right but let us say people have tried to define themselves they could not define themselves now there is a difference when i said define yourself and when i said describe yourself so describe kya karu <coughs> सोशल बींग यू आर किस समाज में रहते हो क्या सोचते हो वॉट थिंक वॉट इज यर्ल्ड व्यू वॉट इज यी how do you interpret religion how do you interpret politics how do you interpret your community right what are the important issues of your society and what are your views or your own orientation regarding them okay what are your what is a spiritual question what is your emotional question what level of emotional intelligence can you depict okay while uh, working in the government system or while working in the society like so when you need to define yourself the definition is more broad based the definition is more uh, <clears throat> what is a non materialistic the definition is more non quantifiable right <clears throat> so if you think of this logic in that way so when we say lucidity now when we say panchayat introduction kya karna hai uska so you may say local governance started or uh, the, the the constitutional position of local governance or the status okay came as a consequence of 73rd 74th amendment act 1992 right 
lot of committees have talked about this 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 or let us change it okay the concept of local governance indicates decentralization of power to the grassroots level it is more of politico administrative financial or functional decentralization that is the ideal local government system or let us change another way okay the concept of local governance is inherent to indian democracy to indian society since the time of the ancient civilization since the time of the vedic civilization we had the concept of gramini gram sevak right gopa and lot of you can say use all them now see it depends the more you go and increase the range of your introduction the depth the range of the introduction fine the more smart you will have to be in order to articulate in a very really small space right and then continue this idea and eliminate those things that you do not so it will take lot of time it requires lot of smartness from you so that when you move from that intro or from that description and then move to the next paragraph why right? let us say the introduction or sub uh, or a support paragraph to the introduction you can simplify it that way right so kind of addendum to your introduction <clears throat> which you can definitely write right it's like not introduction is not one body of paragraph which can be written and then after that only the main body will come it is not like that it does not need to be have need to be in one physical space only so if you understand this non logic so if you expand the horizons of the topic in your introduction you will have to now slowly and slowly you will have to trickle it down and then you have to filter it it gives or it makes lot of difficulty in doing so because either you may discuss every aspect in different different paragraphs right or you will have to now eliminate certain aspects or filter them right and take the centrifuge and then centrifuge must be the work for it so this is a big conflict many of the students may not be able to understand they open up a topic they never uh, they are never able to close it so it's like telling yourself about yourself so many things in the youtube personality test and ultimately you fail in many of them or you are not able to answer many on or, or, or those topics so now the ratio of evaluation okay in favor of you reduces kisne 10 cheeze boli hai do hi bata payega is acha teen bolo aur do bata pao more than 75% right so lucidity is a very important aspect that is what how you open up the topic and then in what way you are able to pursue the various aspects of the topic that you have introduced people feel lucidity is just the language and not just the language and it is the way in which the expression has been presented without losing the meaning and the essence of the introduction that you have made and that is the first aspect of lucidity right then the second aspect is obviously your that is the the content is not fact the content is not the information that you share fine the content is a combination of right i'm writing here can you content is a combination of your knowledge that you may call as information right and your clarity in terms of analysis let us take it through the same example now you are talking about the uh, let us say uh, the local government now you talk about the reasons for the failure or non inclusion of the stakeholders in the local government let's say you talk about this now right so you give a proper information that there is lack of financial decentralization right there is lack of functionaries at the local government level why did it happen 
okay you can also bring the basic reasons okay right after the independence what happened okay uh, what was the nature of the political system how the administration lay so you, let's say you are discussing you are bringing all these facts and then you are bringing the facts that okay reservation of sst women okay, has not been able to bring the transformation which was needed okay so you talk about all these okay, lack of functions available to them they do not have resources of resources of sorry revenue the finance commission awards okay and the state finance commission and the central finance commission lack of collaboration now you can bring the civil things here fine but see that is the not part role of gram sabha all those you can bring what is the clarity part the clarity part is that how the uh, the provision that you talked about of the gram sabha the finance commission the state finance commission the lack of functional decentralization the lack of financial autonomy how whatever you talk about this how are you able to provide a clarity in terms of linking this to your topic right and also how this sub reasons or all these reasons or causes are intertwined or interlinked in each other so try to understand your content your knowledge should not be disconnected from each other but this is a very important aspect of an essay writer it must be an engrossing essay it must be seamless seamless it must take you from one idea to another literally the one who is reading your essay must enjoy it he must you know yes you see ye to mai nahi nahi aise hi sochta this is all what i wanted Yeah, or for the example, there can be a shock value. Why did not I think about it? There is something unique. This person has analyzed. But again, but that will come only when you are well versed with the content, no doubt. But the content is not presented in a static manner. It is not a lifeless content. The content is alive. It is living. So you are able to link them together. Gram Sabha to Finance Commission, Finance Commission to Central Finance Commission to. the government of india to the state government to the district administration to the collector to you know the collector raj and on the linking it together and same can be done for international relations the same can be done for your know, strategic essays the same can be done for your environmental essays everywhere we'll we'll talk about it whenever we are taking the essays the different different topics okay we'll give you a, a specific domain a kind of you can say a standard operating procedure which people say so okay which you may call as key tricks kya hai so these are not the tricks this is how your brain must be wired it becomes wired over time if you are practicing in a proper manner ye wired ho jayega waise hi aapka dimag sochne lagega and that is the best thing that can happen right so lucidity the content content in terms of these two things right the third aspect is the creativity your essay must have creativity theek hai ab creativity ka ek bahut simple example let us say you are talking about local governments you are talking about local government the same topic that we were talking about okay let us take the same topic now so if you say you start this with that panchayati raj institutions which are constitutional bodies formed after the union a very basic introduction and in fact i would say it is more of a sad introduction है क्या कोई एंथजियाजम नहीं है आपके अंदर राइट या तो आप ऑप्टिमिस्टिक हो सकते हैं कि द लाइक पीपल टेन टू बी मोर यू नो फिलोसफिकल एंड आइडियोलॉजिकल इन दर अप्रोच ओके समटाइम्स दैट इज आल्सो एक्सेप्टेड दैट इज मच बेटर देन बीइंग टू सैड एंड बीइंग टू स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड राइट बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट एन आंसर सो सम पीपल स्टार्ट दैट वे सम पीपल मे स्टार्ट इट फॉर फिलोसफिकली ओके द नोशन ऑफ डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ पावर इज द एसेंस ऑफ democracy the hallmark of democracy is the inclusion of people right so you can start this with both philosophical or let us say you can start this way point right? that as per the oxfam report it can be anything i'm just using this as an example as per the undp latest report Let's see you start this. Way. As per the UNDP latest report, right? 
इन सर्टन और आप उसको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया भी बोल How smart you are! It depends on that. How much you have read it depends on that. You must be a voracious reader to write a very good essay, and you can get 200 marks no problem, right? So in a certain village, let us say, so there was basically a case study, okay, in Madhya Pradesh. So let us say, as per this business report, authentication is important, legitimization. Otherwise, it can be your own story. People do write it this way, which is not acceptable. If this is what happened there. Now that is your personal experience. There is no uh, documentation or there is no documented proof of that, right? So let us say in a certain village, as per this business, okay, it was found out that okay, there were two sarpanches of different villages, and this is what happened or this is what their story. Is. You can compare them. That is in a very brief manner. I'm not talking about this type of completely. Right? Or you can say that yes. Recently, the government launched this business program, and it was through the local governance that the transformation of this particular program took place, or the transformation of this particular village landscape or society or social transformation took place because of the direct involvement of the local governments. Or the Gram Sabha in Kerala passed a particular resolution. Okay, now from here you can start it. Now this is more of an indirect way of starting it. Now. You can prove the strength of the Gram Sabha, the strength of the local government. So this is more assertive way of doing it, but it is more straightforward. You can start with a news item. You can start with a reports uh, endorsement of certain things, right? You can start with a shock value also. They say can have a shock value. Right? So when you talk about environment, let's say when you talk about uh, the Disasters and likewise. So, Bhopal gas tragedy. Dominic Lapierre, there's a very famous book written by him. It was five past midnight in Bhopal. So, the the, the Bhopal gas tragedy or Dominic Lapierre, where he starts with the number of deaths. Actually, okay. In fact, if you read his novel, it gives a lot of understanding regarding uh, the. The ecology of that particular area, flora, fauna, temperature, climatic conditions. We talked about all these things, right? Or city of joy, something about Calcutta, which is written. Again, it's written by him only. So, where you find the description of the the socio-cultural and environmental aspects of Calcutta, which may not be directly related to it. But see, through this description, if you read a lot of Nobel laureates' uh, books or bestseller books, if you're reading. You'll find the strength of their writing lies in the description they make, and how they are able to link that to the nature. So they actually take you to that particular place. So the the imagination, the creativity, the vividness that your answer can bring that is very relevant. That is very important. That is very important. So if you are creative, so rather than bringing a very straight tone. Rather than bringing a very factual tone, rather than bringing, you can say, a kind of you know, sadness in your presentation, in your uh, introduction to the essay, if you bring an element of you know, creativity, an element of surprise, an element of you know, shock, an element of assertiveness, right? so that will more attract the examiner. You can also use the quotations and the statements, so that is also being played. So sometimes you can use the quotations, the statements like I was writing an essay on education. So I started with the Radha Krishna's quote: "That the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet." Now I took this statement, and from here I started analyzing Radha Krishna's uh, idea: that what is the root and what is the fruit, and what is the relationship. Right. So from here I started my essay, which probably was not directly related to. Fine, but it gave me an ample amount of support, an ample amount of you can say the uh, the uh, base to explore multiple ideas of education. So your essay is like the tree, right? starting from a stem, but as you move further, okay, it has numerous branches, sub branches, leaves, then veins, then whatever you talk about. 
that is how an essay should be. In the first place itself, it should not open up a book. But it can be creative. Creativity can have multiple facets. People say how to be creative. Diagram banana. Diagram is not creativity. Diagram is laziness. It is not creative. Right. So this, and then a very important discussion needs to be done around the context. Context kya hai? Kyu likh rahe ho? Why this topic would have been asked? For women empowerment, panchayati raj, globalization, greenhouse emissions, environmentalism, right? Uh, your uh, Regional trade agreements, you know, the impact of WTO on the global trade, role of WHO, United Nations, right, uh, nuclear policy of India, and likewise, the space. These are all the issues which have been there since the Indian independence and even prior to that also. Patriarchy, caste system, cultural domination of women, and stereotypical typing of women. The changing of the the matrimonial roles within the family, okay, matrimonial system itself is transforming. Institutional changes. Okay. These are all the topics they are here since long time. It is not something new. But try to understand my point. So why something has been asked? So there must be a context to that. There must be some recent happening, right? There must be uh, probably uh, the importance of that particular issue being arising in a particular situation today, right? Or maybe in the past five, ten years, something has happened extraordinary. Some events have happened, good or bad, which have triggered the importance of that particular topic or issue, right? There must be certain pertinent questions which might have been un unanswered in that particular area. Maybe media buzz is not there, but still that issue is so relevant. But there are so many questions unanswered in that area. It is posing a challenge, a threat to the governance. Okay, it demands, uh, uh, you can say, a creative and out-of-box solutions from the decision makers. So all these issues, okay, may attract the essay. Right. So let us say context is a very important aspect. Context here would mean. Something like Q. I am. Why? This is right? And if it is related to certain aspects, certain topic, then what exactly is its scope? So, is the scope kya hai? Nuclear policy, pucha to shall I write the entire nuclear debate? No. Right? Environmental conservation, pucha to shall I write everything about it? No. So, you have to also understand what? At the same time, context also helps you in understanding the interlinkages. Now, this is not an independent entity, it is part of the context. Interlinkages. Fine. So, if patriarchy ke baare baat kar rahe ho, aur patriarchy ka issue abhi aya hai, let us say rape hai, crime hai, fine. Ya, uh, temple entry movement, fine. women entry into the temples, sanctum. And Torum, whatever, and uh, then you talk about the, the triple talaka, who uh, 377, okay, right, LGBT rights, and likewise. So, there are so many issues which are pertinent today, but how the interlinkages can be developed. So, if you know the context, you can interlink it that because of triple talaq or the lack of triple talaq or the impact of triple talaq, the economic situation, fine. Right? The historical uh, status of women, right? The politics around it, right? the failure of administration to deliver the services, the justice aspect, the social justice, the judicial justice, and whatever. Now, this interlinkage is from when the context is very clear. If it is not clear, you will write the environmental impact, like I have seen, uh, I don't want to name people, but uh, that is obviously very. Uh, below dignity, but the logic is that I have seen many pe people who are quite experienced and they are talking about the environmental impact of the triple talaq or environmental ecological impact. First, differentiate environmental ecological. Kya hai? 
राइट तो अब ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि एनवायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट हो सकते हैं इम्पैक्ट तो सबका कहीं ना कहीं कुछ होगा सो जब कॉन्टेक्स्ट आपका क्लियर है सो आप वाई क्यों हो क्या और उसके इंटरलिंकेजेस आप बता सकते हो और वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ नोइंग कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ राइटिंग दिस इज दैट वेन यू हैव अ फोकस द टॉपिक तो अब इसके फोकस के फोकस इन फोकस आउट दो एस्पेक्ट हो सकते हैं फिन और पॉट इसको हम लोग सो फोकस इन क्या है ओके व्हाट आर पर्थिन इन फिल्स फोकस आउट क्या है यस देयर आर सर्टेन स्किल ओवर इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ सर्टेन थिंग्स सो Uh, you can say that way that lack of employment will also have an impact on environment. Industrial productivity will have impact on health. You know, uh, transportation policy will have definitely impact on the housing. It will have no doubt. Right? You cannot rule that out. But the logic is, if I know this, I can focus in or focus out. So I know this. I will know it very easily that. Fine. I will use simple model that if this is the core issue, then this will be the immediate issue with which it will be linked. This will be the next issue which with which it will be linked, and all other fine, all other issues like this or like this. ये मेरे fault होंगे. Out of focus, ये मेरे fail होंगे, fine, and I don't need to establish a relationship between them. No need. I may need to bring or give a very cursory remark to that, but I don't need to develop a relationship between them. I don't need to dedicate a paragraph on them. I don't need to dedicate a substantive part of my essay to this particular aspect. Fine. I hope you are. able to understand this simple logic so lucidity content creativity context so very important aspect vital aspects of the essay right and up because further hum usko explore karenge when we are discussing the essays and all those things right this we call as concentric circle approach kaun sa important circle hai kaun sa nahi hai isme pata chal gaya to hum usko hata sakte hain copy bhi uh then let us say uh ye ho gaya ab ek 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 aur bahut important aspect hai that probably again a very vital aspect right the presentation ye hamari strength ho sakti hai aur presentation mein do cheeze aati hai right let me again Elaborate this thing. We'll have two things. Okay, two things. One is what is it? One is my expression. Okay, this way, language, mode. Like I said, creativity is creativity. Is not pessimism or optimism or whatever. Right. So, one is language. Okay, mode. Okay, is very important aspect. Fine. Yeah, flowery language. We don't say flowery, but not flowery language. A wise language is more important. Right? So, expression is one to language. Dusra, okay. the aspect is so expression. हो गया language important. Expression का एक और aspect है ठीक है जिसको हम बोलते हैं the vivid nature. Vivid nature is means how descriptive your expression is, how real your expression is, how practical your expression is, and how easily the examiner can visualize what you are expressing. So, a very good language is written, but it is so complex. You can understand it. You are writing a good language, but still you are able to link things. You have been able to you know, provide that expression. With a very, you can say, minimum 
or minimal confusion. Accept it. A good language, a picky a language, or probably two lines which can explain 15 lines. I mean, that is a good expression. But for that, you have to think that way. You cannot memorize that way. That's a very important aspect. Right? So, a vividity is important. It should be too vivid, descriptive. Right? Ease that is happening right in front of you. And you can imagine the plight of women. Or the examiner must imagine the plight of women. You can empathize with it when you are. Presentation make expression is such an important aspect. Fine. And then I would say now uh, a very simple aspect is your exactness or your exactitude. Now exactitude ko aap simplify karo ki verbatim kya presentation hai. That means what exactly is the structure. Structure of presentation, yeah, right. What is the structure of presentation? So structure is now an important aspect. Just to hum padte hain. Both 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 sir log aise pada. They are teaching or they are learning that way. Right. Even we also made some various mistakes in that. So how they are doing it? Ki wo structure hi padte hain. Aise mein main body hota hai. Aise mein aise ke pehle ap logic ko bhi samjo. First understand the simple logics. Okay. Ap uske minute milestones bhi samjo. Minute details. Once that larger picture is created, so structure banane mein kuch nahi, that is just a part of whole presentation. Fine. So you say that introduction hona Introduction break ho sakta hai. Main paragraph or sub paragraph ko. So body hona chahiye. Fine. How many paragraphs body must have? Or soon some more continue. They are not continuing this. And then end up getting 101 marks, 90 marks, 75 marks, 74 marks that's it. Good students, okay, rank is 700 something, 650, 635, whatever. Okay, essay may mark 78. So, say for other 20, 25, 30 marks, essay may be given, rank 300 something. Right? That's something drawback because something that you can excel at, something that you can very easily understand. It is like half an hour, one hour every day to do, or even alternate days if you do. Just think about it, you can write it very well. Right? So, body on a chair, body make it in a paragraph. So, make it a pre conclusion on a chair. Right. Pre conclusion on a chair, pure conclusion on a chair. Or, koi bolega be a post conclusion be on a chair. Way forward. Right. Now, way forward the simple matlab hai that conclusion we have given. Fine, we arrive at certain uh, do's and don'ts, we arrive at certain know-hows, we arrive at certain, you know, specific acceptance of certain things. We arrive at that, but still we don't feel, or we don't think that this is the end of this particular idea or issue. So how it is going to unfold, how it is going to evolve, what can be done in the future, the possibilities that it creates is the way forward. Okay, your possibilities are right? So Gram Sabha, these are the issues, this is what happened, this is what we must do, fine. But then we can also add that, okay, yes, in future, the role of Gram Sabha is going to increase under the impact of technology, the digital world and the globalization or the post-globalization that is happening today. And so the Gram Sabha must gear up for these kind of transformation and changes. And certain policy shifts are required. Right? And now something like that. So you can... So, this structure kya hai? This is a simple aspect. Hai. Introduction, body, body, kitne paragraphs hone chahiye? That is to be seen as for the essay demand of the essay. Pre conclusion, conclusion, post conclusion, ya wave form. Fine? So, you have to design the structure design. Karlo, you have to write 1250 or 1500 words, let's say maximum, then 1000 words maximum, then you have to decide the structure. It is not a definite idea that okay, it will paragraphs only, 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 
तो इस पाई चार्ट का 25 परसेंट वर्क जो है खत्म हो गया इनफैक्ट ये मेजर पार्ट था राइट लेकिन अब वीकनेसेस को ऐसे क्या नहीं होना चाहिए राइट अभी आपने लिखा कि भाई ऐसे जो है पहले सैड एस्पेक्ट उसमें पेसिमिज्म इज टू बी अवॉइडेड इट शुड नॉट बी जस्ट अ ब्लैंड a straight forward introduction which obviously defeats the entire purpose of writing this exam ko pehle hi lagega ki are ye yaar isko jo hai gk ki book padh ke aise likha hai so a become something like modi ji don't be rahul gandhi but rahul gandhi is more entertainment than modi ji but the logic is the substance is missing here so you can be like rahul gandhi screaming surprises every time और केजरीवाल इज बिगर सरप्राइज राइट और फॉर दैट मैटर ममता बनर्जी भी बन सकते हो आप लेकिन लॉजिक है कि आपका पेसिमिज्म नहीं होना चाहिए ब्लैंड इट शुड बी टीका स्टेट फॉर्म समथिंग लिख दिया कि अच्छा ये ये होता है ये ये होता है ये ये दैट इज दैट इज मोर ऑफ न्यू सिंस वैल्यू लेट इज से सो यू हैव दिस राइट इट शुड नॉट बी दिस देन इट शुड नॉट बी टू फैक्चुअल This is the weakness of emotion. If it is too factual, right? If it is an editorial, yes. If it is an academic essay, oh, you can write. It. If it is a research paper, an introduction, an abstract, you can write it. But when it is an essay, when it is a free flow of ideas, thoughts, and intermixing of various domains, right? Disciplines, right? So, ये too factual कभी नहीं होता है. ये data, वो data, use data, fine. But data is not then use data to interpret something. So facts देने से ऐसे की value बढ़ेगी नहीं, कम हो जाएगी. लेकिन facts को use करने से facts should be like mean, not an idea, right? So you can use the facts to analyze certain things. You can use the facts to interpret certain things. Use the facts to support your argument, correct? But अगर वो बहुत factual हो गया, fine, it is becomes too technical. You may assume that you will come under the range of 25 percent. Such is possible. Rather, marks are too low. Why? Because it's tried and tested formula. Because four attempts to sub test the formula. Because when we realize that we are going to the interview every time, so I thought, I said, now let us test. Because interview marks were not increasing much, but then I tested it. Finally, right? So it, it gives a lot of experience. Failure is a bit a bigger experience, though a bit a one. Right, so I don't want you to fall into that trap. Please don't do that. Right? What factual? नहीं होना चाहिए. Information नहीं होना चाहिए. Information overload नहीं होना चाहिए. Okay, data facts. बहुत सही. Third important lesson कि क्या weakness हो सकती है जैसे कि ठीक है. एक बहुत important weakness है language. This is a big turn off for the exam. Right, you are writing an essay in English, right, and you are not able to put up your words, pen down your words in a proper sentence. Rule out. If you do not have the wisdom to use the right word to express the right thing, right, if you are using too many casual words, yeah, casual languages, you can use it. Oh, you can use it. Because the media uses some words. Use it. Mob democracy. Now, but your essay. Must reflect the wisdom. Right? It should not be casual. It should not be jargonized. Right? Lot of you know statements from the media, newspaper, and you know, they, they don't make sense much of sense. Right? You can use them. Yes, current perspectives are very important. Contemporary aspects are very important. Contemporary debates are very relevant, right? So, you can use the terms like "paparazzi," "mobocracy," right? "Godia," okay, or "Modi bucks," whatever you can. You can talk about those things; it is not denied. But obviously, it should not be overdone with that. Right? It is more of simplification that you are doing rather than putting uh, your own creativity and your own analytical skills. You are just copying something and putting. So don't do that, right? Then it 
teacher said it should be multi sectoral ruled out <coughs> people say political social economic environment ye simple hai likh sakte ho correction kya hai what is the correction make it more multi discipline ye karo ye hai तो मल्टीडिस्ट्री या मल्टीडिस्ट्री हम बोलते हैं तो इट इज मोर ऑफ यूजिंग और एक्सप्लोरिंग डिफरेंट एकेडमिक डोमेन्स टू अंडरस्टैंड अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक राइट दिस इज सिंपली लाइक डिस्कसिंग द इंपैक्ट ऑफ समथिंग ऑन दिस सिर्फ इंपैक्ट ही पढ़ना है या कॉजेस भी पढ़ने हैं जैसे फिर फैक्ट्स ही लिखते हैं तो सिर्फ इफेक्ट लिखने से फायदा नहीं होगा ना कॉजेस भी पढ़ना है और कॉज और इफेक्ट का रिलेशनशिप भी एस्टैब्लिश करना है so where your particular topic falls in place that is also very relevant then aur aapko kya nahi karna hai weaknesses aur kya ho sakte hai iske liye theek hai so too many i'll tell you minute things too many paragraphs this is a big no you can write long paragraphs in this sense no no but not in answer But when you say long paragraph, obviously I'm not saying one page paragraph, but a quarter page paragraph can be written. Let's say with obviously certain good headings. Okay, heading must not be answer type. Heading is within the same paragraph. So, for us, space like that, we have to line short here. It becomes more easy. But too many paragraphs should not be written. It is. It becomes a kind of you know, it detaches the examiner from understanding the continuity, from understanding the clarity of your essay. It becomes more of an answer compartmentalized. तो बहुत सारे पैराग्राफ्स बता दो ये 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 ठीक है अह लाइक आई सेड एक्सेस डायग्राम्स मस्ट बी अवॉइडेड यू कैन यूज सम डायग्राम सो नो देयर आर स्टैंडर्ड डायग्राम्स देयर इज समथिंग दैट यू वांट टू प्रेजेंट एंड वेरी क्रिएटिवली यू वांट टू प्रेजेंट इट राइट अह आप एक कार्टून बना सकते हैं नथिंग रॉन्ग विद दैट फाइन यू कैन एंड अप विद अ कार्टून देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद दैट राइट but if you are making a ray diagram if you are making an illustration a flow chart and always you know putting things in that way table bana diya ye oh that is should not be done that is very elementary a very cheap form of presentation right so the logic is that ye bhi bahut nahi hona chahiye koi kuch log bolte underline karna hai ha karu bilkul karna Right, but pure essay to important hai tumhara sab kuch underline nahi karna. Are you writing anything unimportant in your essay? Are you writing anything irrelevant in your essay? So if you say relevant things, I have to highlight. So that's all the things are irrelevant. That means you do not want the examiner to read them. Right. So focus on the process. It's a very simple logic. People say, sir, जो बहुत important हो, तो इसका मतलब जो बाकी सब चीज लिखा सब बता. आप अपने एसी को खुद सब स्टैंडर्डाइज कर रहे हो बहुत ज्यादा हाईलाइट कर रहे हो सो दैट एग्जाम में जस्ट सीज दो की पॉइंट्स इन सेज ओके फाइन एस ओवर हो गया फाइन आई गॉट माय विजडम फ्रॉम दिस 50 वर्ड दैट यू हैव लाइन दिस इज नॉट द वे यू वांट टू मेक द एग्जामिनर रीड योर एसे ही डज नॉट वांट योर एग्जामिनर टू बाईपास योर पैराग्राफ्स एंड योर नॉलेज एंड जस्ट लुक फॉर द की टर्म्स ये तो कोई भी की टर्म्स लिख के आ जाएगा एनवायरमेंट में 50 की टर्म्स है पॉलिसी में 30 की टर्म्स है टेक्नोलॉजी में ये कुछ की टर्म्स है उसको लिख दो ऐसे में हाईलाइट कर दो वो लिखेगा हाँ ठीक है वो आंसर में होता है ऐसे में नहीं होता ठीक है ऐसे में आपका प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू वांट द एग्जामिनर टू गो टू अ टूर ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ एबिलिटी फाइन ऑफ योर एक्सप्रेशन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दैट एंड दैट इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डिफ्रेंशिएट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दी अदर्स राइट सो ये कुछ बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है If they are there, got very good. ये कुछ negative aspects हैं. If they are there, you are going to score less, or at least it will reduce the effectiveness of this, right? So we can remove it. Then there are various opportunities and threats. अभी opportunities कैसे arise होती हैं? Depending upon the type of topic you are choosing in the examination. So कोई private का student है उसने political administrative topic choose किया. तो उसकी अपॉर्चुनिटी है फाइन बट उसमें थ्रेट क्या है ही विल राइट अ गवर्नेंस आंसर ही विल राइट अ पॉबैट थियरी इन दैट 
and not required. So when you say Weberian logic or Weberian bureaucracy, fine, acceptable. But when you now move out now out of that, okay, the merit-based system, there is a defined remuneration, the official and the personal are separated. Now that becomes an answer, not acceptable. So if you practice properly, if you have developed, understood the nuances, the undercurrents, the layers of this logic, then क्या कर सकते हो? आप एक प्रोबेट स्टूडेंट हो, but आपके पास एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है that you can write a sociological essay because you will have the core knowledge of the administration, the governance, more or less the problems of the society. Fine, but then you are not going to or you are not able to use that core knowledge as it is in it. But समझ आपकी society के लिए बहुत अच्छी है क्यों क्योंकि आपको administration, governance, policy की समझ अच्छी है. You understand that in a better manner. Right? The policy, the governance, the administration, other aspects, the facets of governing in a better manner than someone else. But you are choosing sociology or soci sociological topic deliberately just to avoid and what we call the academician's bane. Right? It is a theorist's bane. Theorist glitch bola jata hai. Jo theorist hota hai, agar wo koi chiz apne baare mein likhta hai, apne domain mein likhta hai, to it is obvious that he is going to specialize. Right? But it will definitely help. Right? So if you are all science students avoid writing too much on the constitutional philosophy in the field. Leave it. And after that, there is another topic which I can write very well. Choose that topic. Because there it is quite obvious that you are going to put articles into that. Okay, not at all acceptable. Articles ka kya karna hai? Sir, so, aap articles ka sir, ek simple general reference ho ke, ho ke. So, it is quite obvious that if you are coming from a specific domain or subjects that expert you are. Right? For example, people have studied graduation may be why subject, or fill the way liya, or fill the way you still live You are bound to get less marks. And then people say that I am an expert on this subject, I am a postgraduate here, but I am a very crap number of this topic. Why are you getting? You are getting less marks. Because you have written your answers, you have written your options, you have written your GS, and you have written your GS. Right? <clears throat> so, you have vast opportunity to choose certain topics and opportunity increases right? logically when you are choosing certain topics okay, which are typical in the question paper. So many people are going to choose this stereotypical traditional topic right? because they feel that they are able to write it. So, you can write it very So, you can write it. But the philosophical topic and if you can write it, I am not saying if you cannot you cannot go for average marks, choose the topic which most likely everyone is going to choose. Okay? So, you can imagine that there is a playground that is accessible hai, and everybody is coming with a football in that playground. So, technically, nobody is able to play properly. There will be an average game only. Right? Same is like writing a similar essay which 95% of the people are. So that is opportunity you have if you prepared well, if you understood the logic well, then a four topic choose for take. Joki typical hai, most likely people are not going to write on that. Because it will challenge their intellectual and mental abilities, their writing skills. It is quite possible that. Uh, you might look out for the content, you might miss out on the content over the time. Fine. But then, if you have studied a lot of disciplines, you have studied a lot of topics, issues for general studies, for you know, from the newspapers, editorials, and likewise. So, it's more likely for you to bring those knowledge into this. Even if you may not have you know, direct knowledge of something, you can write it. But don't bluff to the extent it becomes like a child's answer. People do that. I have personally experienced certain loss in my life or certain things in my life. People do that and that. But that is not the way to write an answer. <coughs> or, for that matter, even SAS is more likely to be not written. Fine. Right. So, usko avoid kare. Okay? So, opportunities are bought, sir. We will discuss this over the time. Threats, kya? Threats, sir. You have to choose a new thing. 
सच क्या है आपके एक्सपेरिमेंट को एग्जामिनर डिनाई कर सकता है समथिंग विच इज क्रिएटिव अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इज नॉट एट ऑल क्रिएटिव अकॉर्डिंग टू दी एग्जामिनर ये सच But then, how we can overcome these threats is only through minimizing the probability, increasing the predictability. जितने अपने errors को हम minimize करें, chaos और confusion को कम करें, और जितने हम अपने intellectual terrorism को reduce करें, we are going to become more predictable. And predictability comes with practice. Predictability comes by writing things. Predictability comes by a proper evaluation. Going through a process, जहां पर आपका brain, body, mentality और practice सब match करते हैं साथ So it may be a little slow journey, but it is a very strong foundation. And that is what we intend to do. So today was more of an introduction, and we have uh, we are getting a lot of responses from the students. So thank you for that. Right, and we are going to be we are going to live up to the expectation probably we'll try to go beyond that also right but many students i know this is a phase which is more emergency phase a crisis phase so many students might be skeptical ki class kya hoga fir aapka ye so see i would like to tell you very honestly through this video that we have been here for last 7 years and quite known let's say individually right but when i create a system obviously i know that there are several needs of that system which are required and over the time these needs are fulfilled for in terms of delivery in terms of pedagogy in terms of content in terms of other services that people want students want right the prodigy is probably as effective as what was gs4 where i was before right or me who is there in this trade for a long time there is a lot of trust social capital that i have developed over the time so many students raise this point that i am answering it Right? So kindly go, don't go through all that. The fiscal system may not work for six another six months. So will you, you know, postpone your preparation? Okay. Is our relationship a mutual, you know, sharing of knowledge, a passion, a goal, common goal? It does not, or it's not based on the basis of mutual distrust. It is not how it works. So digital platform has all the ingredients that were there, except. That you cannot physically meet me, and that also you can do once the COVID crisis is gone. Fine. Thank you so much for your time. All the best to you. Take care, and the next lecture would be there. Okay. Bye. Tomorrow or the after tomorrow. Thank you so much.